Hey you guys, Storm here with another Unity 3D 2D RPG tutorial. And in today's episode, I want to um, do the play interaction. So when you're walking one way, he faces that way, etc., etc. And if we have time, I will start working on holding a sword and attacking the enemy. Alright, so let's get started. I'm just gonna zoom in so it's easier for you guys to read. So in play, uh, firstly, in your sprite sheet, can you please just make three extra of these? <laughs> and, um, yeah, and then in Unity, just split them up into 32 by 32s, like we did when we created them singly. So, uh, um, let me know if this is too much, uh, too zoomed in too much, or if it's fine. So, we want to start by um, having four sprites. So if we have um, public sprite um, forward, public sprite backward, public sprite left, uh, locus left, and public sprite right. So basically, what we're going to do with this is have a direction so I'll show you. so if we have a public in direction we want to set in here um, direction equals uh, one direction equals zero direction equals uh, two and direction equals three so we're only gonna have now uh, four directions so zero one two and three and down here just do if direction equals zero and just copy this three times and up here also just add a um public sprite renderer um, right parent right so in here changes to one two and three and we want to up here we want our sprite parent dot sprite is equal to um, forward uh, yeah is equal to forward sprite parent dot sprite is equal to backward sprite parent dot sprite is equal to left and sprite parent dot sprite is equal to right so if I'm correct if we go to our player and for our sprite parent we just drag that there and for these, we just select our sprites, so one by one. So our forward sprite would be uh, that one. Our backward sprite would be that one. Our left sprite would be that one. And our right sprite, <laughs> right sprite, would be that one. So if we click apply and we click play, you'll see we have a direction. We'll do these for the AI in another episode because it's slightly different to how we would do it for the player. But it's fairly easy. So we have our directions now. Alright, so that was quick. <laughs> Next thing we want to do is I want you to create a empty game object, call it holding, and I want you to if you go to our sprite sheet, I want you to draw a sword, right? And we'll have swords, like extra swords, which you can upgrade later on, which we'll get to that in another episode. So yeah, draw a sword. And now if you click play now, you're going to see it's really silly. <laughs> um, so if we 
come up here we need to add a few things first we need a public sprite uh, sprite renderer weapon pair uh, weapon sprite parent we want three vector twos so public vector two um, forward pause back pause and side pause now um, in direction we want our um, weapon sprite parent dot sorting order equal to 21 and we want that on our um, 3 and for this one make it 19 so it goes behind the player so if I just show you quickly what this does when we go up, uh, sorry, go to our player, make sure for player you give our holding the sprite render. Click apply. So when we click play, go up, it's behind. We go down, it's in front. We go that way, it's behind. We go that way, it's in front. All right. Next thing, what we want to do is we want to let's first do rotation. So when we're going left, we want to do quaternion new rot or new rot because it's rotation is equal to quaternion dot euler um, I don't know exactly how you pronounce that but that's how I pronounce it and just do 0 0 and 90 and then we just do weapon sprite dot parent uh, sorry dot uh, transform dot rotation local rotation is equal to new rot and just copy this and put it here but make this one zero so we click play now and we go left you see it rotates that way and we go right it rotates that way okay now in player we have these three positions so our forward uh, our forward position when we're walking this way we do want it to stay oh yeah I'll show you something really quickly what we need to do when you um, in your sprite sheet items ah, click this and in your sprite editor on your uh, sword make sure you click custom like for your pivot custom and put the custom pivot at 0 0.25 and 0 0.25 so it rotates around your handle rather than the middle of the sword okay so we have a few positions so when we're walking this way we want it to be these positions so just copy that X into here and Y into there right when you're walking the other way so when you're walking that way, his right hand will be on this side of the body. So again, if we just do that, copy that, put it here, copy this, put it here. We'll also um, copy the rotation for that one and this one here. Two seconds. Sorry about that. So and then so we get our rotation. And then finally we want to do when we're walking sideways. So if we just put that in the middle th there, that should work. So copy that. Put that there. Um and copy that one. And put that one there. So how do we do this? It's actually really easy. So, pretty much just copy this, do this, dot local position is equal to forward pause, and just copy this um, into everyone. So, this one here is equal to side pause, this one here is equal to side pause, and this one here is equal to back pause. So if we click play now, 
you walk up, it's in that hand. We walk that way, it's that way. And we walk that way, it's in his hand. Like that. Okay. Alright, so we now have our sword. And now we want to. Uh, we have to. Mm, Alright. There's a few ways we can go about this. If he's always going to hold a sword, right? So let me open up Photoshop. So if our character is. Let, let's draw this in. So let me do this. Get a red. So if our character, we'll just call him Char, is. We have two options here. And. Right? If he's oh two seconds, sorry. Let me just lower this. So if he's always going to hold a sword, then we won't then we won't bother putting it into an inventory, so let's just do that quickly. So we won't put it into an inventory, and we'll have the script on the actual player instead. However, if if the player will hold more than one item, then what we'll do is we'll access we'll, we'll get the sword itself a script in which we'll attach that to the sword and then we'll have it in the inventory so this way making the player able to hold different items rather than just a sword or if we had like a bow or something so I'll leave that choice up to you guys um, let me know in the comment section and the more um, just yeah it's gonna be like a vote <coughs> So, if you don't, like if, if no one comes by and says, hey, we're going to do, I, I, I'd like to do this one, or hey, I'd like to do this one, right, then I'll just choose one. So, like, both of them are easy, it's just a matter of how you want your game to be, and I could possibly show both if you wanted, but um, for now, I just vote, and I'll get on to make in the next episode. Alrighty, guys, thank you for watching, have a nice day. I'll see you next time.